Wait a minute, before you send your seedlings and take your seedlings out that are grouped together and throw them away, let me share something with you. This is a technique that I've perfected over the last two years and you can save all of the seedlings that you thin out and create more plants out of these. When we start seedlings, we often get more than one plant per cell and then we thin them out. So instead of thinning these and throwing these away, we're going to be transplanting these and see if they make it. In my experience, they grow just fine and they make beautiful plants. As you can see, there are quite a few cells that have more than one chilies in them. So I'm going to be carefully taking these out and then repotting them into the six cell trays. Now to save these seedlings and helping them grow into big beautiful plants and preventing them from drying out, I use 50% potting soil, 14% coconut coir, and 10% compost, 50, 40, 10. Now coconut coir is derived from coconut husk and it is great medium to retain moisture in your growing medium. It does wonders to retain moisture, which is what you need to prevent these seedlings from drying out because if they dry out, they will not make it. So let's start with a few of these. This one has three plants right there. This one has a single plant, so we're not gonna touch that. There are two plants right here as well. And this one, there are four plants in here and the fifth one is starting to grow too. So let's thin them out and let's replant them and let's see how they do. So what I do is I leave the strongest one alone and then I take the ones that are shorter or smaller and I take them bare root just like that. So I have my potting mixture ready that I told you about. I'm going to create a space in there. It's very important to create the space so that we don't break the roots or the plants while putting the plant in there. The plant should just be able to just drop in there just like that and then you can just press around the plant gently so that all the soil or the growing medium is in touch with the roots. This one is just barely opening the first set of leaves. So you want to wait until the first set of leaves open, but since I'm at it, I'm going to replant this. This plant has two sets of leaves. The first set of leaf and the second set of leaves just opening up. This one has a tap root and is starting to develop feeder roots. This one already has two sets of developed leaves and this already has feeder roots that are being established. So these two are the perfect time to uproot and transplant to start a new plant. Now look at this one. This already has two sets of developed leaves. It has four leaves and it has third set of leaves that is actually developing right there. And this one already is having extensive roots. So now after the plant becomes bigger than this, it's going to be much harder to uproot and transplant and then the success rate is also going to go down as well. So I've started two cells of six plants each of poplona peppers, and I'll be checking on them after two weeks and see how they do. Next up, we're going to do the same with basil. I have lots of basil plants growing here, but in this cell, there are four of them growing. So I'm going to leave this one alone and I'm going to grab all the other basil plants. So check this out. I'm going to grab this little one, comes right off. Mm this one and I'm going to use the same process to transplant basil plants into this six cell tray check out all of these basil plants all of these are going to be transplanted I don't throw away any seedlings so I got two six cell basil plants transplanted as well next up I'm going to do the same with the tomato plants so I have started two trays of six cell each of the tomato plants as well and I'm watering them very carefully with a water bottle so that the plants do not get disturbed. So if you transfer these seedlings into your pots and into your growing trays, make sure you check on them every single day, water them every day, maybe check on them in the morning and in the evening and make sure they don't dry out and they will make it. So I'm going to wait three weeks to see the results which are coming up in this video as well. In the meantime, this video is sponsored by Godsend. Godsend makes seed growing trays with removable bottom tap for easy seedling removal. They also make grow bags with removable Velcro bottom. You can use these growing trays to transplant your seedlings or also to grow your seedlings as well. They have these growing trays with humidity dome which drastically increases the success rate of growing your seedlings and also transplanting your seedlings as well. They have many sizes of these grow bags and you can even use bigger grow bags to grow bigger plants. If you're interested in any of these products, I'll leave a link to these products in the description of this video. So it's been three weeks and seedlings are growing and I haven't lost a single one. So let's check up on our transplants and see how they're doing. The basil plants have grown quite a bit and they're ready to be planted outside. Well, check out this one. 
This one is growing quite a bit tall since there's not enough light in the greenhouse. It's going a little bit spindly, so it's time to plant them outside. Well, check out the tomatoes. Look at this one. These tomatoes are growing huge. And they're kind of getting past the date of planting them outside. So let me take one out and see how it is. Well, check it out. Look at the roots. Nicely developed roots and look at how healthy this plant is. Well, let me take this one out, push from the bottom and just pull it out. There you go. Nice roots are being developed. Quite tall, quite sturdy. There are some small ones. They're a little bit lagging behind, but they are coming along. They are very strong. These are strong plants, strong stem, straight, you can plant them outside anytime after the last frost in spring. Well, check out these poblano peppers. They are doing really great. We have three really strong plants. One, two, three. The other three, they're a little bit lagging behind in there. The pepper plants do take a little bit longer to grow, so it is normal for some of them to lag behind, but we do have some strong ones. And in the second one, same thing. We have our three really strong ones and three that are coming along as well. So this is how easy it is to use your bare root seedlings to make new plants. So never throw away and thin your seedlings. Always use these bare root seedlings to make new plants and I'll see you in another video.